What if I told you that a single pill, prescribed to millions of people every year, could be causing changes in your body that you might never think to connect to it? Amlodipine is among the most widely used blood pressure medications in the world, and in the United States alone, it's taken by tens of millions of people daily. For decades, this calcium channel blocker has been a go-to choice for managing high blood pressure and chest pain. Its role in protecting against heart attacks and strokes is well established. But with such widespread use, understanding the full range of its potential effects, not just the ones listed in a pamphlet, becomes more than important. It's essential. Now, many people assume that if a side effect were significant, their doctor would have mentioned it. And while healthcare providers work hard to inform patients, the reality is that appointments are short, and discussions often focus on the most common or pressing issues. As a result, some of the lesser-known effects, from subtle symptoms you might brush off to more unusual reactions, don't always get the spotlight they deserve. In this video, we're exploring 10 side effects of amlodipine, from the everyday to the rare, all explained in clear, simple language, supported by credible research. This content is for informational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Side effect number one, dizziness. One of the earliest changes some people notice after starting amlodipine is dizziness, particularly within the first few days or weeks. This happens because amlodipine relaxes and widens your blood vessels, lowering blood pressure. While this is exactly what it's prescribed to do, the sudden change in vascular tone can momentarily reduce blood flow to the brain, especially when you stand up quickly or change position suddenly. This is known as orthostatic hypotension. In mild cases, dizziness may feel like brief lightheadedness that passes after a few seconds. But for some, it can be more disruptive, causing difficulty focusing, an unsteady feeling when walking, or even nausea. Over time, severe or frequent dizziness increases the risk of falls, which can lead to injuries, especially in older adults. It can also affect your ability to drive, work, or carry out daily tasks safely. Checking your health in this situation is crucial. You can monitor your blood pressure at home using a reliable cuff, ideally measuring when sitting and again after standing to see if there's a significant drop. Keeping a log of when dizziness happens, what you were doing, and any other symptoms, such as blurred vision, weakness, or fainting, can give your healthcare provider valuable clues. Simple preventive steps can help. Rise slowly from sitting or lying positions, stay well hydrated, and avoid skipping meals. If the dizziness is severe, persistent, or linked to other concerning symptoms, your doctor may need to adjust your dosage or timing, or check for underlying causes. But dizziness isn't the only signal your body might be sending. Side effect number two, edema, swelling. For some people, amlodipine triggers visible swelling, most commonly in the ankles, feet, or lower legs. This is because the medication's main action, relaxing and widening small blood vessels, can also allow fluid to escape from those vessels into surrounding tissues. Instead of circulating back into your bloodstream, this fluid lingers under the skin, creating a puffy, tight, or heavy feeling. The effect is usually most noticeable in the evening after standing or sitting for long periods, when gravity pulls more fluid into the lower limbs. Women tend to experience this more often than men, and the likelihood increases at higher doses of amlodipine. Although the swelling itself is usually not painful, it can cause discomfort, make shoes feel tighter, and affect mobility if it becomes severe. Unlike whole-body water retention, this type of edema is localized. It's not about kidneys holding onto too much fluid, but rather about changes in the tiny capillaries in your extremities. That's why you may see it more in your legs than in your hands or face. It's important to monitor swelling carefully. Gently pressing on the swollen area with your finger, if it leaves an indentation that lingers, known as pitting edema, can indicate more significant fluid buildup. Keep track of when swelling happens, how severe it is, and whether it improves overnight. If the swelling is sudden, rapidly worsening, or accompanied by symptoms like shortness of breath or chest discomfort, seek medical attention immediately, as this could indicate a more serious underlying issue such as heart failure. Sometimes that swelling comes with an unwelcome surprise on the scale. Side effect number three, fluid-related weight gain. Not every increase on the scale means you've gained body fat. With amlodipine and other blood pressure medications, some weight gain comes from fluid retention, when your body holds onto extra water in its tissues. This type of weight gain can appear suddenly, sometimes within a day or two, and is often accompanied by visible swelling in the feet, ankles, hands, or lower legs. The key difference is speed. 
Fat gain develops slowly over weeks or months, while fluid-related weight gain can happen almost overnight. That's why you might find that your shoes feel tighter in the evening or that your rings don't slip on as easily in the morning. For people with underlying heart failure, kidney disease, or certain liver conditions, this is more than a cosmetic nuisance. Rapid fluid accumulation can place extra strain on the heart, making it harder to pump effectively, and can worsen symptoms like shortness of breath or fatigue. A sudden gain of just 2 to 3 pounds in 24 hours, or more than 5 pounds in a week, is a red flag that should be reported to your healthcare provider right away. Tracking your weight daily, ideally at the same time each morning, can help catch changes before they become dangerous. Side effect number 4. Angioedema. Angioedema is one of the rarest but most urgent side effects linked to amlodipine, and it's not something to take lightly. This reaction involves sudden swelling beneath the skin, often appearing around the face, lips, tongue, or throat. At first, you might mistake it for a simple allergic flare-up, but the danger lies in how quickly it can progress. Within minutes, swelling in the throat or tongue can block your airway, making it hard or even impossible to breathe. The underlying cause is an abnormal immune response. In certain people, amlodipine can trigger tiny blood vessels under the skin to leak fluid rapidly, creating that puffy, tense feeling. While swelling in the hands or feet may be uncomfortable, swelling in the mouth or throat can become life-threatening without fast intervention. If this happens, timing is everything. Even mild swelling in these areas should be treated as an emergency. Call emergency services immediately. Don't wait to see if it improves. Treatment often involves urgent medications like antihistamines, corticosteroids, or epinephrine to stop the reaction before it worsens. Remember, this is rare, but knowing the signs could save your life. Sudden facial swelling, a change in your voice, or difficulty swallowing are all reasons to act without hesitation. Even without swelling, amlodipine can sometimes leave you feeling unusually drained. Side effect number 5. Fatigue. Feeling more tired than usual after starting amlodipine is a common experience, and it's not just in your head. When amlodipine lowers your blood pressure, it also slows the speed at which oxygen-rich blood circulates to your brain, muscles, and vital organs. This sudden change can leave you feeling drained, less energetic, or struggling to maintain your usual pace. In the early stages, this fatigue is often part of your body's adjustment process. Your cardiovascular system is essentially learning a new, normal, and it can take days or weeks to adapt. During this time, you might find yourself yawning more, wanting extra naps, or losing motivation to exercise or work at your usual intensity. While temporary tiredness is expected, it's important to monitor its duration and severity. If fatigue persists beyond a month, worsens over time, or interferes with your daily activities, your doctor may need to investigate further. Sometimes, lingering tiredness could point to anemia, thyroid issues, or interactions with other medications, not just the amlodipine itself. To help manage this, stay well hydrated, maintain a balanced diet, and pace your physical activity. Tracking your energy levels in a daily log can also reveal patterns that are worth sharing with your healthcare provider. And sometimes, the effects are more visible, literally, in your skin. Side effect number 6. Flushing. Flushing is one of the more noticeable side effects of amlodipine, and it's hard to miss when it happens. You may suddenly feel a wave of warmth spreading across your face, neck, or chest, often followed by visible redness. This isn't a skin reaction in the traditional allergic sense. Rather, it's the result of amlodipine's primary action, widening, dilating, your blood vessels. When those vessels near the skin's surface expand, more warm blood flows through them, creating that heated, flushed sensation. For many, flushing comes and goes quickly, lasting just a few minutes before fading away. But for others, it can be more intense, appearing several times a day or sticking around long enough to cause self-consciousness. While it's generally harmless, it can be uncomfortable, especially in social or professional settings. Interestingly, studies suggest women may be slightly more prone to flushing than men, possibly due to hormonal and vascular differences. Flushing itself isn't a danger sign unless it's paired with other symptoms such as hives, swelling, or difficulty breathing, which could indicate an allergic reaction. If flushing becomes frequent or disruptive, keeping a symptom diary can help identify possible triggers, such as alcohol, caffeine, hot beverages, or warm environments. Adjusting these factors may reduce episodes. For others, the heart itself feels the change more directly. Side effect number 7, 
palpitations. A fluttering or rapid heartbeat, often described as palpitations, can be one of the more unsettling side effects of amlodipine. It may feel like your heart is skipping beats, pounding harder than normal, or suddenly racing without warning. For some, it's a brief episode that disappears within seconds. For others, it can linger long enough to cause discomfort, anxiety, or lightheadedness. Palpitations happen because amlodipine, by dilating blood vessels and altering blood flow, can sometimes cause your heart to adjust its rhythm. This effect tends to appear more frequently in women and can be amplified by factors such as high caffeine intake, certain cold medications, or stimulant use. Not every episode is cause for alarm. Everyday factors, dehydration, emotional stress, even a large meal, can trigger harmless palpitations. However, when palpitations are persistent, accompanied by chest pain, shortness of breath, fainting, or extreme fatigue, they may be a sign of a more serious heart rhythm disturbance that requires prompt medical evaluation. Keeping a log of when and how often palpitations occur, along with any related activities or foods, can help your healthcare provider pinpoint the cause and guide treatment adjustments. And while your heart races, your stomach might also have something to say. Side effect number eight, nausea or stomach pain. Some people taking amlodipine experience mild stomach discomfort, which can include feelings of nausea or a vague ache in the abdomen. While these symptoms are generally not severe, they can be bothersome enough to affect your appetite or daily comfort. This happens because blood pressure medications like amlodipine may slightly irritate the stomach lining or change how your digestive system functions. The good news is that nausea or stomach pain related to amlodipine usually improves over time as your body adjusts to the medication. For many, simply taking the pill with food or a light snack can make a big difference, cushioning the stomach from irritation. If symptoms persist or worsen, it's important to mention this to your healthcare provider, as they may recommend a dosage change or additional remedies to help ease the discomfort. It's also important to differentiate mild medication-related nausea from signs of more serious issues like ulcers or gallbladder problems. If nausea is accompanied by severe abdominal pain, vomiting, or unexplained weight loss, seek medical advice promptly. But sometimes, the problem isn't in your stomach, it's in your blood pressure dropping too far. Side effect number 9. Low blood pressure. Since amlodipine's main role is to lower blood pressure, it can sometimes push it too low, especially when combined with other blood pressure medications. This drop can cause symptoms like dizziness, blurred vision, or feeling faint. These occur because your brain and other organs may temporarily get less blood and oxygen than they need. Mild low blood pressure might just make you feel a bit off or lightheaded, especially when standing up quickly. But if it worsens, it can cause serious problems such as confusion, weakness, a rapid or irregular heartbeat, or even collapse. These signs indicate that your body is struggling to maintain adequate circulation, which can be dangerous if not addressed quickly. If you notice symptoms of low blood pressure, it's important to check your readings regularly and discuss them with your healthcare provider. Adjusting the dose or timing of your medication can help prevent episodes of hypotension. Also, avoid sudden position changes and stay well hydrated to support healthy blood flow. And finally, for a small number of people, amlodipine affects the muscles in an unexpected way. Side effect number 10. Muscle tremors or stiffness. Although rare, some people taking amlodipine report experiencing muscle tremors or stiffness. These symptoms can appear as involuntary shaking or trembling in the hands, arms, or other parts of the body. Others might feel tightness or difficulty moving muscles smoothly, which can interfere with everyday tasks like writing, typing, or holding objects. The exact reason why amlodipine causes these muscle issues isn't fully understood, but it may relate to how the drug affects calcium channels in muscle cells, which play a key role in muscle contraction and relaxation. While uncommon, these side effects can be quite frustrating and sometimes alarming if they begin suddenly or worsen over time. It's very important to pay attention to any new muscle-related symptoms and report them promptly to your healthcare provider. Early discussion allows your doctor to evaluate whether amlodipine is the cause and decide if an alternative treatment is necessary. Sometimes adjusting the dose or switching medications can relieve these symptoms. Muscle tremors or stiffness might also signal other underlying conditions, so don't ignore any unusual changes in muscle control, coordination, or strength. Regular check-ins with your healthcare provider help ensure your treatment remains safe and effective. So now you know the 10 side effects your doctor might not have had time to cover. 
Listening to your body signals is one of the strongest ways to take control of your health. Whether it's unusual tiredness, appetite changes, or digestive discomfort, these clues shouldn't be ignored. Partnering with your healthcare provider helps you stay proactive. Small, guided adjustments can make a big difference. Today's insights are just the beginning. Many hidden health factors remain to be uncovered, and in upcoming videos, we'll reveal more surprising truths. Which side effect caught you off guard? What topics should we explore next? Your feedback shapes what's ahead. If this video gave you a fresh perspective, please like and share it with someone who might benefit. For more clear, trustworthy health tips, stay tuned. Next time, we'll discuss simple foods that quietly support your heart and blood vessels without major lifestyle changes. Don't forget to subscribe, sometimes one small insight is all it takes to improve your health.